So I am the last lightning talk, uh, and I am going to talk about uh, the Uber developer platform. So today you've heard about some amazing technologies that power the Uber app, from our front-end mobile architecture to uh, how we detect anomalies, all the way down to our data infrastructure. And I'd like to conclude these TED Talks by introducing the Uber developer platform. Those same technologies that power the Uber app also power this open developer platform. And we'll dive deep into some interesting, exciting things that you can build on top of it so you can also leverage the amazing architecture that we've built. Uh, first off, uh, my name is Charlene Gonda. I am a Uber developer advocate in the Uber developer platform team. And uh, what a developer advocate means is that I'm sort of half software engineer and half public speaking, technical writing, event planning. So I get to, to have some fun while you know doing other stuff as well. OK. Let's start with a fact. Our dreams are coming true. Real life technology and science fiction technology are quickly converging into reality. And it's an amazing time to be a technologist. Uh, pretty soon, our homes will be almost entirely run by intelligent algorithms that learn your preferences, aka our very kind robot overlords, probably named Samantha or Jarvis. We might be driving flying cars one day. And of course, we may not even be driving at all. Uber is at the forefront of innovation in the transportation space. Did you guys know that we had self-driving cars? <laughs> Very exciting. So this future is still a few years away. But what about right now? Well, it turns out the future is already here, at least for people that use Uber. And this is made possible by the Uber developer platform. The mission of this platform is to lead the evolution of Uber into a world-class open developer platform for moving people and things. And uh, we'll dive into some uh, things that you can build uh, on top of our major API products uh, by looking through a day in the life of an Uber rider. So in the morning, you wake up and you tell Google Home, Alexa, Hound, or any bot of your choice to get you a ride to work. These conversational agents use the Ride Request API to request a ride for you at the right place for the right time. While you're on the ride, intelligent apps powered by the Trip Experiences API can deliver customized content for you to consume while you're on your ride. So uh, this is an example of an app doing this. this it's called Auto Radio, not to be confused with auto trucking subsidiary, which you heard about earlier today. Um, but it's an app that delivers a customized list playlist of news stories and podcasts for you to listen to while you're on the ride. And it's customized to the length of your ride so that you have something to listen to while you're riding. And at night, when you're on your way home after a long day's work, intelligent uh, algorithms that control your home could uh, detect whenever you're on your way home and maybe turn up the heat for you if it's too cold or uh, turn on the lights as you arrive and maybe even play you some smooth jazz. And of course, with a push of a button, uh, you can get dinner or anything else delivered to you with businesses powered by Uber, Uber Rush. So this API basically can teleport things to you. And you might be wondering, what makes all of this possible? So I've just discussed the capabilities of some of our major API products, but what makes that possible? Well, you make it possible. Developers and builders like you uh, are able to use this developer platform to bring us closer to the future we've all been dreaming about. Uh, and let's sort of dive deep into uh, an example of how we can do that. Well, I mentioned earlier that your house would probably be run by our very kind robot overlords that live in your house. And maybe they even want you to be comfortable while you're there. Well, with the Trip Experiences API, uh, 
this is already possible. And so let me give you uh, a quick overview of how this works. This API allows you to detect, allows your app to detect, whenever a user is on a ride. And so you know uh, certain information about that ride, and then you know what their contexts are. So let me give you a 1,000 feet overview of how that works. This is the ride request lifecycle, and it's very familiar. You request a ride, and then you get into the car, and then the ride is in progress, and then you arrive at your destination. Very simple. I'm sure all of you have uh, gone through this life cycle. Well, with the Trip Experiences API, if an Uber user has connected their account to your app, then the API can then give you notifications via webhooks uh, about the context or about the uh, status of the ride. So if they just requested a ride, you'll get a notification that says it's processing. Uh, when they get into the car and the ride is in progress, you get details like uh, pickup location, destination, ETA, et cetera. And then when they arrive at their destination, you also get a notification for that. So you can imagine that you can use all of this information, all of this context, to augment this very simple ride request lifecycle to, uh, to tailor useful information to that ride so that you can provide an amazing experience. All right, let's dig in a little bit here. Uh, if you wanted to create something like this, uh, there are four major steps that you'd have to go through. You'd have to connect your user's Uber account to your app. You can then detect when a rider is on a ride, get more information about their Uber context, and then use that context to enhance your app. Now, these first three steps are all about using the Uber API. And the fourth step is where the magic happens. So let's dive in. But before we do that, uh, we'll create an app in the Uber developer dashboard, uh, and then enter a webhook URL receiver so that we are able to properly uh, accept these notifications that we've been talking about. OK, so now it's time to connect your user. First, somewhere in your app, you'll have to prompt your user to connect their uh, Uber account to yours. Uh, and then they click that Sign In button. They'll be shown this permission screen. And it's very important because this uh, allows your user to see what information is shared between the API and your app. And when they click Allow, uh, and by the way, you can do this with OAuth 2.0 or single sign-on. Um, uh, who has uh, used like any kind of developer platform before? Yeah, like APIs. OK, cool, awesome. So you'd probably be familiar with what OAuth 2.0 does. But uh, at the end of this process, you are able to get two pieces of information that signifies that the uh, user has given you access to their information. User ID, their Uber user ID, and their access token. And so you can associate and save both of these pieces of information. So remember them, uh, because we'll use them uh, right when we detect when a user is on a ride. So now that we have permission for this user to, uh, to access their data, uh, we can now detect whenever they get on an Uber. And when they get on an Uber, you'll receive a notification in the form of a webhook that looks like this uh, whenever their ride status changes. So whenever they've uh, requested it, or whenever they get into the car, or when they arrive at their destination, and a few other status, statuses in between. And you can use the user ID that's part of this payload to figure out which one of your app users, remember that we got this earlier, which one of them just went on a ride. So now that lucky user uh, gets to see a more uh, customized experience for their ride. Uh, and before we can do that, we'll have to get more information about their Uber context. So uh, in, this information can be something like, uh, where they're going, like whether they're going from home or where they're going from work, um, where their current location is, um, their Uber product types, or wh whether they're using Uber Black or Uber Pool, et cetera. And you can access this information by using that access token and then turning it into um, all of this uh, context that you can then use on your app. 
And so I mentioned earlier that this fourth step is where the magic happens. You can pick the most relevant information that your app uh, will need to provide a really interesting experience or do something useful for the user. So for example, um, I mentioned earlier that uh, you can use this API to notify a smart thermostat like Nest, for example, to um, take the weather into consideration and take the time that you're about to get home on your Uber and make your house more comfortable, like turning up the temperature for you or playing some colorful disco lights as you arrive, because why not? And then if you have an app and you have this sort of regular off-trip experience, you can use this API to provide a more contextually aware uh, on-trip experience. So this is Auto Radio again. Um, as you can see here, they show what the name of your driver is and how long it is before they arrive, and then uh, use the duration of your trip to customize that playlist for you. And all of this possibility is uh, possible with just one API. Imagine what you can do with the rest of the surface area of this developer platform. So it used to be, push a button, get a ride. But now, when you push that button, your apps, your destinations, your home can change and adapt and be just a little bit more delightful. Now it's push a button, improve your life. And I know that's kind of cheesy, but that's all I got. Um, <laughs> and all of this is possible when builders like you use the developer platform to create these meaningful experiences. So like I said earlier, the Uber developer platform is leading the evolution of Uber into a world-class open developer platform for moving people and things. It's the uh, engine powering conversational agents to request rides for you. It augments intelligent apps to deliver customized experiences. It makes smart things smarter. And it can basically teleport things to you. What future will you build? Keep learning and get started at developers.uber.com. Thanks.